So welcome back guys to We Talk Boxing and this is my post fight review for the main event that which took place on Saturday night between Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury. And before I give my opinion, obviously I want to give a big congratulations to Alexander Usyk who obviously defeated um, Tyson Fury in a much fully deserved bout and he did deserve the victory. And the comments, obviously, that Tyson made after the after the fight, saying that, that he was he was given the decision due to the conflict in Ukraine, etc., etc. Um, yeah, it wasn't right um, because obviously Alexander Usyk went in there and he did what he had to do, and he is now the main man in the heavyweight division. But anyhow, um, yep, yeah, let's get on with the, my review. Um, this fight, yeah, I'm going to start from the beginning, really. Uh, round one and two, very good, good competitive rounds from both guys. Alexander Usyk started very, very sharp. He brought the fight. He took the fight to Tyson Fury. He was the aggressor from round one. And he, he allowed, not allowed, that's probably the wrong word to use, but he, he made Tyson Fury... Um, look better than what he was in 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 the in the opening half of the of the fight, because as I said, he took the fight to him. You know what I mean? Tyson, Tyson was pretty much boxing on the back foot, um, and he and, and he looked good. And obviously, he was mimicking. He was like trying to take the take the take the pee out of Alexander Usyk, hands down, wagging his chin out and his and his sticking his tongue out and all that sort of stuff. You know these crazy antics, but. Realistically, Alexander Usyk's too professional for that, and he obviously stuck to his game. And he was the one who was landing the big shots in the in the first one and two rounds, and looked very good. Um, but yeah, I'd I'd, I'd say from round three, four, five, six, and seven, these rounds I would give to Tyson Fury. Um, I just felt as if he'd just done a, enough in these rounds to obviously to win these rounds. Um, and at that point, up until round seven, I'd still give round seven to Tyson Fury, but I would have had it as 5-2 at that point, at the end of round seven. So Tyson Fury, for me, was winning the fight, 5-2. to two. And I honestly was, 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 was messaging a few friends, obviously saying Alexander Usyk doesn't have the power. I don't, I don't, don't feel as if he could get to Tyson and stop him or hurt him. But it wasn't to be. I obviously ate my words because... At the end of that seventh round, even though Alexander Usyk lost it, that was the turning point in the fight for me because those 20 seconds at the end of that seventh round gave Alexander Usyk confidence and made him feel that he can do something and he can hurt Tyson Fury because that's exactly what he did. And in round eight, he obviously took the fight to Tyson Fury, hurt him. Um, then round nine, he obviously scored the... The, the 10 8 round and Tyson Fury was a lucky lucky boy so you know what I mean to 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 not get stopped the referee I don't know honestly what he was thinking because Tyson Fury was bouncing left right and center he pretty much touched was it like three parts of the ring the aprons he was bouncing from left right then left again and he was it he, he looked as if he was doing salsa dancing in, in the fight and he was quite like crazy to see because honestly I didn't feel that Alexander had the power to to trouble or or to, or to hurt Tyson Fury but obviously he did and he was the accumulation of of of, of the punches it wasn't just one big punch like Deontay Wilder it was the amount of punches that were landing in and um, obviously that hurt him and as I said he, he done very well to to to, to end to, to make it at at the end of that round so yeah Doing very well there. Obviously, he's got the referee to pretty much um, thank, thank, for, thank him there because obviously, if it wasn't for the referee, he would pretty much have a a, a KO loss on his record right now. Uh, even though it's, instead of a split decision, but yeah, round ten and eleven, I would score for Alexander Usyk again. Round twelve, it was a tough round to call, but again, I'd probably favour more towards Alexander Usyk. It, it was a tough round. You, you, some people could have given that round a, a, that round a draw, but I probably would have given it to Alexander Usyk, even though realistically, most boxing uh, fighters probably would have thought, you know what, I'm already winning the fight. It's a close fight. Let me just stand back and, you know, what I mean, win it 
like win it on points because if I, if I mix it with Tyson and I get caught, I could get knocked out. But Alexander Usyk did it and he, he brought the fight to him again. He tried to get him out of there in the 12th round, which was amazing to see. But when I, obviously when, when the fight ended and you, you heard the scorecards, at that point I was thinking, you know what, worst case scenario, the fight could possibly be a draw. But realistically, Alexander Usyk won it for me quite comprehensively. But um, you don't know what the judges are going to go for. Obviously, the first judge, I think it was, was it 115, 112, I think? That was in favour of Alexander Usyk. And then the other one was 114, 113 for Tyson. And then was it one was it 113, 114, I don't know, something like that for, 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 for Usyk. So obviously, he won it by a split decision. So, in the end, they got, they got, they given the result to the right person. Obviously, Alexander Usyk, but... I don't know how they could have scored the fight to Tyson. I just don't know. I just don't know. But it is what it is. Obviously, the right man won in the end. And, yeah, he, he goes off and he's the main man now. And for what he's done in boxing, you know what I mean, to be undisputed at cruiserweight and undisputed now at, at heavyweight and he's beat the best two of his generation heavyweights, he has to go down as one of the best ever in in my opinion and he is tb for me in 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 the heavyweight game quite comprehensively quite easy because like as i said he's, he's he hasn't just come up and beat oh yeah he's, he's beat tom then he's beat dick then he's beat harry for the like to claim the belts he's beat the two best guys and both of these guys have had a lot of advantage over him the height speed the power and he's took the fight to him and he's nearly stopped him in, 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 in the fights that he's had. So, yeah, um, brilliant performance from Alexander Usyk. And, I mean, I, I can't wait to see what's next for him. Don't feel as if there's a lot out there because he's done everything. Like, why ruin your legacy sort of thing? But, if he, if he, as Tyson would say, if he's a boxing man and he wants to continue boxing, then he can. But I can't see there's a lot left for him. But... Yeah, um, in terms of Tyson, I'm not sure where he goes from here. Um, obviously, he has to look look at himself in the mirror and then reassess and then see if he still wants it because he was winning the fight comprehensively for me at, at the end of round seven, but something happened, something clicked, and then the fight switched. But if he would just kept doing what he was doing and not try to mix it or get caught sillily, then he potentially would be the main man at this present moment in time, but it wasn't to be. So he has to go back to the office and reass reassess what's, what he wants to do. Obviously, the rematch is on the table and then potentially AJ fight. Now that him and AJ both lost to Usyk, that fight is, is, is a bit more juicier, in my opinion. I always felt that if Tyson would have beat Usyk, then the AJ fight was just dead in the water. But because they both lost to Usyk now, there's a chance that fight could potentially happen because they're both lost. No one's always got to go because they're both lost to the same man. Um, it just we just got to wait and see what happens. But yeah, incredible event, incredible performance from both boxers, obviously Tyson and Usyk, for making that fight what it was. Um, and yeah, I'm quite happy that I actually watched it. Obviously, sad that it was in Saudi, it wasn't in the UK and stuff like that, but. Yeah, it was good that the Saudis put it on for us. But you guys can let me know your thoughts. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of opinions in regards to, like, Tyson won or, you know what I mean, the referee should have stopped it well, in, the, in the ninth round or the scorecards were wrong. Because it's, this is boxing. It's very subjective. But all we could do is give our opinion. And most true boxing people who know about their boxing and scored the fight legitly and not favoritism in certain in terms of boxers would would say Alexander Usyk did deserve to win that and I was honest honestly literally um I just as I said first two rounds Alexander Usyk next five were were Tyson and then from literally eight onwards was pretty much Alexander Usyk 12 maybe controversial you could probably say maybe could be a draw 10 10 maybe but i'd say because obviously obviously alexander usik was the aggressor he was pushing for the knockout i would have given it him but yeah let me know your thoughts guys and as always please subscribe and comment bless